What up you guys, I'm in Avery Ranch looking at this beautiful property that we got under contract off the market. So it's located in a cul-de-sac in a really prestigious area of Avery Ranch. It's 5,200 square feet on half an acre lot with a pool, with a theater, with a four car garage. So one of the nicer properties, I think. Um, I'm going to give you a full walkthrough of it and I want to remind you that this is a 360 video. You can change the angle with your fingertips. Don't forget to put it on 4K to enjoy the full resolution. So once I get into this property, what am I seeing other than these huge doors that are made out of, I don't know, adamantium, it's they're super heavy. Um, we have this area, they use it as a formal uh, living space and a formal dining room. You can actually convert it into an office with relative ease. You already have kind of the infrastructure. You put like a French doors and a window if you want to. But with this size of house, I don't even, I'm not sure that you need it. If you want to, it can be done. Another thing you can convert into the office is a part of the master bedroom. You can open up the French doors here, and then you can open up doors from the exterior. There's an exterior entrance, and I will show it to you in a moment. What else are we going to see in this property? The living area with vaulted ceilings and the kitchen with wolf appliances and sub-zero fridge, high-end stuff. The other side, we have the master bedroom with vaulted ceilings and another bedroom adjacent to it for guests or for a nursery or for an office, whatever you want to use it for, and a four-car garage. On the top, we're going to have a bedroom with a full bathroom and a huge theater, you'll see it in a moment, and two bedrooms with a Jack and Jill bathroom. So pretty much every room here has its own private uh, adjacent bathroom. Go in here, and I'm sorry for, you know, I'm sorry it's kind of a, it's, it's not staged because it is an off-market property, so nobody actually prepared it to a for list, but you can see the vaulted ceilings here, the large uh, living room, and this kitchen, and I love the stone, I absolutely love this stone. This stone is a natural one. For those of you who are familiar with the channel, you know that I have a thing for natural stones, I like them a lot. Wolf appliances, sub-zero fridge, They've upgraded everything here and they didn't save money. And then if we want to open up the vent, let's see. You have this vent that goes underneath the foundation to release, to dispense the air uh, towards the back. So it's kind of cute. What else do we see here? We see here the uh, breakfast nook. And let me just turn it off. And on the first floor, we have the master suite. And when we go into it, what can I say? I think it's nice. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think that ceilings are tall enough? I don't know if it actually shows in the video, but it is freaking tall. Oh, wait, I have the laser thing. Do I have it with me? Let me check. I'll bring the laser. I think it's 12 feet, but it might be a tiny bit more. So let's see with the laser. So we have here, oops. It's in meters now. Come on, laser. What are you doing to me? Unit. Okay, never mind. I'll check it later. Anyway, you have the master suite. In this area, if you want to convert it into like a, a, an office here, you can open up French doors. You have this clinic doors that you can open towards the exterior and you can put a wall here. The master will still be a large one or you can just keep it the way it is. But from here, you can kind of see. Let me open. You see, you have like the paved entry anyway. All right, going into the master bath. And unfortunately, they did not upgrade the master bath. So it's the original one. With this type of property, with all the upgrades, I would definitely change the master bath. The master closet, on the other hand, is rather nice. It is larger, you know? So that's kind of cute. What else do we have here? I'm multitasking. So the ceilings are 14 feet. I had, I, uh, I knew, I knew it was a 12. So 14 feet ceilings in the masters and this is probably 20. Yeah, 20 in the living room. Okay, this bedroom packed with stuff. So it looks smaller, but it's the standard size. And you have here a full bathroom towards the side here. And you know, this is the original one. So they did upgrade the stone here, so you don't need to replace this entire thing, but you know, the shower is not as nice, but it's the guest shower. Hey, you know, we'll give you a shower. What else do you want? You can deal with it, right? 
All right, what about the rest of the house? I'm going upstairs, and the first thing we're seeing is a drone shot. We can see here what's going on. Large situation behind me here, two bedrooms with a Jack and Jill. Should I show them? It's like, you know, it's bedrooms, and they'll, they'll you know, we have a bunch of personal items, so I'll just tell avoid it, but you have two bedrooms and a Jack and Jill bathroom. And on the other side, everything is brown here. They use like a theater theme kind of. They put the ping pong table here, but you can put another media center, even though you shouldn't because you have the theater here. You can put a family room, a game room, or whatever it is that you want. You have this oversized guest bedroom with its adjacent full bath. So if you want some privacy, you can put a barn door or just a regular door and create a suite with ease, little kitchenette, and this huge, this huge theater that is, using the laser, 36 <laughs> and a half feet long. It's a huge, huge theater, a big space. You can convert it into a bunch of bedrooms if you want to, but why would you? This is kind of awesome. They put the TVs here for games. I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but they have like three TVs. I would definitely remove these TVs and put a, a screen. Uh, it would make more sense in my opinion. It would make it look so much larger. But with that out of the way, we didn't really touch one of the better things about this entire property, and that is the backyard. So this property is nice, it's really nice, but the backyard is phenomenal, especially for the location. But look at this. You head out, you have this area, you can put a covered area if you want to, but I wouldn't do it because I want to have the natural light coming into the place. But you have grass space here, a big driver there, I'm going to show it to you in a moment. The area there you can use for fire pit, more yard here, and this pool. What do you think about this pool? Is this large enough? So this pool is not a small one. If I'm already playing with my laser toy, right? Let's see if I can actually measure it from here. I'm not sure that I can. No, it's too bright. But it is a larger one, 12 meters. If I convert it to shotguns per square eagle, I think it's going to be, I don't know, a bunch, probably like 40 feet or something. That's a nice pool. Oh, look at this lizard. Hi, lizard. He's cute. Oh! He also likes this place, and I definitely like this place. And, you know, what else can I say? I think this is the best property in this specific neighborhood. I know the neighborhood in and out, I live close by, and it wasn't on the market. We had to knock on the door and <laughs> tell the seller, hey, would you like to move? Because we really like it. And after some back and forth, I, was managed, like, I managed to, to secure the deal. Wasn't an easy one for sure but it was definitely worth it because it is the nicest property in the area, in my very biased opinion. Um, it has the largest lot, that's just factual. Um, it's be beautiful, it's upgraded, and the price per square foot that I got is below the market, even though it's the best one. So I love it, I love this deal. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about the deal? Would you like to live in a place like this? Do you think that it's cute? Not that cute. I can't disclose the price, but I will say that it's less than what the market uh, is going for when I'm looking at the surrounding properties. All of them, I should not say it on the camera here, but all of the surrounding properties sold for more uh, dollars per square feet. So all in all, I love it. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this one? And if you're moving to Austin, if you're considering to invest in Austin and you want to engage with the top agent. I'm a top producer in the city and for a good cause and as you can see I'm not waiting for the deal to come to me. I can go and hunt the deal for you. On the market, off the market, it doesn't matter. So reach out to me if you want to and I hope to see you on the next one.